My name is Geraldine Cox. I am an artist with degrees in physics and fine art. My project is called Finding Patterns. And my chosen falling wall is science in the arts. Finding Patterns aims to explore and celebrate nature's beauty, expand imaginations and offer new perspectives. It creates new expressions for our knowledge using many different means. The project was born in 2011 at Imperial College London, and now it has grown to encompass scientists across the UK and beyond, children, families and teachers, students of art and science, and grown-ups. Here is a brief journey through the project. The world of science, and particularly physics, can look like this. Or this. Amazing ideas are written in seemingly incomprehensible language. On anything that comes to hand. By discovering the world through science, we let in the light. Here is one of the first projects we made. A little cinema in a yurt. Powered purely by sunlight. We used the latest organic solar cells to harvest energy and project short films onto a circular tabletop. We live in a universe that dances with vibrations at every scale. Here they are in an oil painting. We start at the bottom, the longest representing the great pressure waves at the beginning of time. Then we travel upwards through the cycles of the sun, our earth years and days, the human heart, the sound of our voices, and the unimaginably fast oscillations of light. We asked, can we share the world of atoms with children and created a workshop? We begin with their brilliant questions. They will answer most of them themselves by the end of the day. We learn that there are as many atoms in this small cube as stars in the visible universe. That we hold a universe in our fingertips. And that every atom is like a tiny musical instrument with a song of light notes. The children study these light notes and identify the atoms that made them. We make beautiful patterns by vibrating salt on a metal plate with a violin bow and discover similar forms are at the heart of atoms. The children become electrons and dance as they absorb and emit colours of light. We love gathering their feedback afterwards. My favourite is, we did no work all day. Celebratory thought experiments happen in breaks and after school. And sometimes we work with families and this is even better when we all explore together. Guests leave us with a wall of post-it notes saying things like Beautifully explained, wonderful morning And dads send pictures of their kitchen scene in a new light In 2020 we moved the workshops online And the children adapted well And we loved that we could bring colleagues together no matter where they were in the world The students make artworks to express their new understanding Collages of atoms inspired by Henry Matisse. Our sun. Seawater. And mobiles inspired by Alexander Calder. This is an atom absorbing and releasing different colours of light. And here is a mobile about the atoms that make a rock, encoded in flowers. We design every workshop as though it were an artwork. This is my large painting of sunlight. Light arrives in droplets of energy called photons. The painting shows how many photons of each energy there are. We invited 500 guests to cut their own photons using the sun as inspiration. We discovered that people love to sculpt with paper. They made many things. Infrared photons looked like this. The visible light photons we see with our eyes and high energy ultraviolet. As they created, we assembled this giant three metre high collage. Back in my studio, there are printed silks with the nearest 100 stars. The photon spectra of sunlight you have seen. 
and scarves of tiny oscillators which, when combined, become waves. There is a 50-page book of drawn instructions for making molecules colder than outer space and large oil paintings, each with tens of thousands of elements. These new conventions show how two tiny particles once interacted and now long separated in space and time still dance together to a hidden choreography. The list of future projects is endless. Every project focuses deeply, often over years to reach the essence of an idea and to discover resonant, joyful expression. I believe that knowledge is for everyone and encourage every individual to explore, imagine and say things in their own way. Then each idea becomes your own. The world becomes more meaningful, beautiful and richer.